Welcome everyone. You watching Pep Talk India's video, and I am Kushi Singh, and I'm Rocky Sagu. That's right. We're gonna be talking about something really, really important. But you, looking at the title, must be thinking that it's about English, it's about public speaking, it's about confidence, right? So, what's new gonna be there in this video? As they have already talked about so many unconventional ideas in most of the videos where we talked about language and public speaking. So, stay tuned, and you'll get to know what is so new in this video. So what's the new? There are a lot of things new. Like? Like we're gonna talk about something that's not at all theoretical, that's completely practical and that is going to give them intriguing idea about themselves. That's right, not about the language and public speaking. Wow, you didn't tell me this before. Right. Well, I didn't so know that before. This video is going to tell, uh, give them some intriguing ideas. That's, that's what he said. That's, that's right. It's like opening the door to understand an individual first. Opening the door. Right. To understand. An individual first, and so that, first. so that, learning becomes easy for them. Wow. So could you enlighten me and these guys? Well, you see what happened last weekend. One of the students in our weekend batch asked me that. You know what? I'm coming here regularly, I'm improving every day, every weekend for sure, no doubt about it. But you know what, I, I think it's gonna take a lot of time for me, probably because I'm not good at English speaking or I don't have confidence, so it's gonna take four, five, six, six months. So I don't think I'm that patient and I don't think I can devote six months for that. How about you tell me how did you improve and I'll improve that way. So what did you say? What was your answer? So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video and I'm sure you're gonna enlighten our viewers and subscribers with a lot of new ideas related to the same. So you want me to talk about something? Absolutely. Uh, what? <laughs> like, like uh, I, I'm sometimes, I'm sorry, I'm sometimes absent-minded, absent right? Absent-minded. You know, it's part of the genius brain. No, it's not a genius brain. Absolutely. I'm, I'm just a dumb guy who's trying to... I was to, reading a little bit who, about... Who's trying to be less dumb. Okay, I was reading about this guy, your favorite uh, personality one of the personalities, Charlie, Charlie Munger. Munger. Mm. It was said that he is absent-minded a bit, mm. which makes it really easy for him to decide and to think about bigger problems and find the solution in almost no time. And that's what you do. And I call such people dark horse. We are addressing here the people who have been trying to improve their English language for a long, long time. Mm. I mean, I know some people, not of course here, but outside that, they say that, oh, for the last six years, you know, what all I'm doing is I'm going from one institute to another institute and I'm doing everything. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I have done everything that people recommend. Yet I stand where I was standing a few years ago. So I want you I to think, help those people. I think people do not have patience. Like we have got so many comments like shoot the video for two minutes, for three minutes, for four minutes, for five minutes. Yes, we have shot many videos for three, four, five minutes. Right. But the problem is people don't have patience. We cannot discuss everything in three, four, five minutes, right? That's right. We require more time. Absolutely. I have been following the same rule, impatient rule. That's why I've been planning to build a body for 20 years, right? 20 years back, 20 years back. I, I, bad. No, it's not a body, right? It's okay. a fat. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 20 years back, I went to a gym and I, I, I asked my coach that uh, I want a body like you. Mm. He said, at least come, f uh, come to a gym for a few days. Mm. And after a few days, I left the gym. Mm. Then after two years, I, I joined again. Mm. I wanted instant result. And because of this wanting of instant results, instant I've been planning to build a body for 20 years. <laughs> if I had been patient, I would have built a body. Absolutely. I wanted instant result and after 20 years, I'm still the same. The so same happens with the people yeah who want to learn English. They want instant results mm -hmm. and they have been looking for these results for two years, for three years, for five years. So are you saying the biggest reason of their failure is instant gratification that they exactly. look for? Instant gratification. We humans have been the slave of instant gratification. That's right. And as a result, they feel like, how about going for 30 days of course and I start speaking English like a native. Is that right? In 30 days, they can get atmosphere. They cannot be fluent speaker. That's they can sure. understand certainly some of the rules, nitty gritty of the language but not certainly that they will be speaking exactly. that Exactly. And let me tell you quickly, there are two ways, explicit way, implicit way. Mm -hmm. What is explicit way? Mm -hmm. Explicit way is conscious way of learning. Right. Like we are going to some institute and we are being taught this grammar, mm -hmm. so we are consciously learning. Implicit right. way, this is equally important. Mm -hmm. What is implicit way? Mm -hmm. You're watching Hollywood movie, mm -hmm. but your purpose is to watch movie only. That's right. Mm -hmm. but you happen to learn new vocabulary words as well. Unconscious right. way of learning. Mm. You're having a conversation with somebody, you're focusing on conversation, but you happen to learn new sentences, as a result, new vocabulary. Exactly, mm. as a result, you repeat. Mm. 
explicit way conscious way of learning implicit way unconscious way of learning mm. we have to have these two ways simple that's right well he almost finished the video but uh, the incident that i discussed about the student you know what did i really convey that mm. student was very simple idea and i said if you really want to understand what did i do i just did one thing mm -hmm. and that one thing was i immersed completely into the language for 24 hours that's good now that 24 hours is not just about like i'm not sleeping i'm not eating i'm not getting you know ready i'm not going to office i'm doing everything but there's one thing it's like love that i'm not missing ever you know that i'm living even if i'm you know uh, traveling by metro in the metro what what's going on in my mind is i'm just thinking about the traveling and everything just in english language and trust me i wasn't doing it forcefully i wasn't forcing myself at all that you're thinking english you're thinking english well what do we call this object what do we call this object that was just simply happening probably because i was in love right oh, you were in love. love with the language and <laughs> that's that's and what happened and you immersed happens. yourself right absolutely completely like i i mean my parents were like are you freaking out or what like you ask what do we call this in english what do we call this in english do we have some other name for podium you know so that happens not because you're just crazy fella that happens because you want to be the best you know what you can ever be and i believe that's the only solution exactly mm -hmm. uh, the the more you practice the better you become Absolutely. right kind of practice Absolutely. right mm -hmm. and there's one more thing i i basically use for myself mm -hmm. i share so many anecdotes mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and here people miss this tactic right they have to have so many anecdotes mm -hmm. short interesting stories Absolutely. right like the other day i was passing by this graveyard Okay. Right. Then I heard the explosion. Boom. Mm -hmm. I was freaked out because I saw the graveyard in front of me. I came out. Oh my God! The car tire got punctured. Mm -hmm. Now I was afraid because because it was midnight. All right. And there was no signal in my phone. Mm -hmm. Right. So I couldn't call. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Now I was supposed to wait. Mm -hmm. So I started waiting, but nothing happened. Then I started walking around. Then I felt that somebody is following me. Tuck, tuck. This is anecdote, right? I right. practice my English. That's it. Simple. And that way, you're practicing not just the English language. You're practicing all the elements of English, right? Exactly. You're using new vocabulary if you are not sure of how to use them. You're using colloquial English, which means the English that is pretty much required to be confident and fluent English speaker in day-to-day -day life. You're using almost everything that you haven't used before. And I practice my practice. display, right? That's right. You're practicing almost all the elements of language. So people people generally anecdotes. don't do that. In her case, she immersed herself. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful strategy. Explicit way, implicit way. I share so many anecdotes, mm -hmm. right? In my case, implicit way happens most of the times. Like right. I, I read a lot, mm -hmm. I watch a lot, I discuss a lot. Mm -hmm. with people right mm. that happens to that happens to most of the people but they don't really realize and understand they that they do not just realize Ex right. exactly then anecdotes mm. you know 70% or 80% of our conversations mm -hmm. are ruled by anecdotes and people Absolutely. don't understand Absolutely. they never practice their english sharing anecdotes you know why because they say the day i learn to speak in english language i'll talk to people but this day will never come Absolutely. because learning is a journey not a destination right yeah <laughs> learning is a journey not a destination if you don't share anecdote today you won't share it tomorrow for sure because there wouldn't be a day what you know when without practicing you can tell the people well now i know english talk to me that day doesn't come that day doesn't come Yeah. It's it's just lifetime thing. Yes. Every day, everything is a lifetime thing. Mm -hmm. Basically, whatever you want to learn. What about confidence? Well, you see, confidence is something that I believe it's like an energy. it can never be created nor destroyed it's always there it's just that you need to learn to exude it whenever it is required now you must be wondering that how to exude it i mean in fact the people must be wondering about it right exactly. so so how to do that you see if you're good at something yeah. natural tendency of yours is going to bring and exude the confidence whenever it is required as you mentioned that um, i went to gym and i asked trainer if i want to have a body like you then what will i have to do and how can i do that right so the confidence will be actually at the edge always waiting to be exuded 
the moment the moment you had gone for three months four months five months and you had a bit of muscles in your body i mean you already have though yeah. so if yeah. you if you had after that confidence to tell that well i'm building the muscles i'm being better by going to gym every day that confidence was already there in a stagnant position three months before as well it's right a skill that needs to be honed right absolutely, absolutely. and I, i i do this just just simple thing mm. look there's this voice inside everybody's head evil voice let's yeah. call this evil voice right evil voice. whenever we have to do something challenging mm. let's say we have to wake up early right so this evil voice all of a sudden wakes up mm. what are you doing there's no need to wake up at 4 a.m 5 a.m relax yes. wake up at 8 a.m yes. 9 a.m 10 a.m <laughs> it's interview time right? right we are all prepared we are all set mm. but all of a sudden this evil voice wakes up what the hell what if you get rejected right what if you're judged right right what if this happens what if this happens mm -hmm. you're going on the stage all of a sudden this evil voice wakes up my god you are being judged then you start feeling the spine chilling Sorry. sensation right so this is a simple strategy i have been using mm -hmm. i just do the opposite mm -hmm. what do you do if this evil voice is telling me not to do it i do it like this evil voice is telling me mm -hmm. not to do what i want to do so i want to dance tum 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 what's going to happen what's the worst case scenario they're going to judge me they're going to abuse me no problem right. evil voice i just did the opposite that's what i do on the stage that's what i've done during the interviews so you have a gun and then you just say dishkia you ask me not to let's let's do it i just do the opposite whatever this evil voice says mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. you feel afraid yes you feel scared yes you tremble but do it but just do it just do the opposite mm -hmm. simple strategy so try and learn to kill your evil voice or to go opposite as your evil voice suggests yeah i'm sorry right. to say one thing we can never kill this evil voice we cannot kill it we so what we have to do we have to do, do the opposite what we just have to go against the evil voice against right evil. all the time that's what we, we call this evil voice all righty so we cannot kill it we cannot minimize it or we cannot eradicate we it we can suppress it but we, we can never kill it because this will always be there inside the head You're right there are two different voices two different thoughts all the good the voice and the, the evil bad. voice yeah what about your confidence so many people call you very fluent speaker on the stage mm. and and you speak so many words quickly okay how do you do that somebody has rightly said a long 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 time ago that preparation is a key for sure but what if we do not have time to prepare right mm -hmm. then i do believe in one statement that statement is ignorance is a bliss <laughs> ignorance <laughs> is a bliss you see last week i mean last night i guess yeah last night i was watching a video of met gala and i watched a uh, 16 minutes of entry an entry of who guess what Lady Gaga. Wow, queen of confidence, Lady 16 Gaga. Sixteen minutes sure. of entry she can do in anything. Met Gala was like just. She's amazing. Right, she was just so exuberant and watching. I was like, first thing came in my mind, what the hell is wrong with her? She's a great example. Actually. Right, second came, oh, what is she doing? Third was like, how does she do that every time? <laughs> and you know what? The, the the meme that came in my head is was like. most of the other celebrities are saying let's go home back now gaga has entered <laughs> <laughs> so that is a confidence and i don't believe just the ignorance is there it is just She's not really gutsy right Attention what you talk grabber. what you talked about going opposite you know to the evil voice so we all have that and i probably believe of course i haven't interviewed lady gaga so far but probably what i really think that she must be dealing with her evil voice to tell that you know what i'm always better than the voice that is in my head yes uh, right uh, since i keep looking for the people who are better communicators mm -hmm. uh so you know this evil voice again wakes up mm -hmm. whenever i talk to better communicators what are you doing they are better communicators right. they'll judge you mm -hmm. you'll make mistakes they're going to make fun of you and i do the opposite that's how you improve your communication by practicing with better communicators you know what very And interesting so, so many people i'm sorry mm -hmm. so many people tell us we we are afraid of speaking in, in front of strangers we are right. we are really afraid in terms of talking to strangers right. evil voice wakes up do not do that you're right just do the opposite you were saying something it's just the perception that people generally have i won't talk to good communicator because i do not have confidence to speak to them i am uh, weak in language i do not have guts i hesitate but 
people sitting here do not have perception about you know you being uh, weak in english language or being uh, weak with the confidence or so so this is how it goes it's like a balance confidence is like balance even if you are the most confident communicator and then you're going to meet the person whom you do not know there'll always be a shaky confidence in you always be because you are human being exactly. so if you know how to balance that your job is done if not well he'll always be here i think right. uh, i think our job should be done here for now because we are Absolutely. gossip mongers right <laughs> once we start <laughs> we never stop oh we like talking probably this is one of the secrets that we walk upon our Let's language give them a breather and speaking. before we just mm. just disappear mm. can you just uh, summarize Absolutely we discussed so many things it was a great great conversation we talked about different tips that you talked about Explicit probably way. Explicit way implicit way implicit way implicit way to learn a language anecdotes anecdotes I share a lot of lot of anecdotes on daily basis then you said immerse yourself then you got to fall in love with the language for some time get rid of the love that they have in their life <laughs> but just immerse with the language and immerse the people the around yeah and with the cause the people who are fantastic communicator mm. right then we talked about evil voice right just do the opposite okay just do the opposite you can never kill it and you can suppress it yes and sometimes even if you're ignorant just be ignorant because that makes you confident just do the opposite right tum 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 That's it for the day. We're going to be meeting soon in some other videos with so many other ideas that we have discovered very very recently by then. Toodle look.